Hey everybody, I'm Faye. Thank you guys for taking this mission up with Ted, the astronaut. Before you guys go, I want you to go through your briefings and figure out what you guys know and what you need to learn. When you're done, we'll welcome you home from your mission. Be safe. Hey everybody, it's Faye reporting live from the International Space Station. Just kidding. So today we're going to be learning about the planets. Mercury is the planet closest to the Sun, followed by Venus, then by Earth, then by Mars, then by Jupiter, followed by Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and if we want to count Pluto as a planet, Pluto is the final planet. Planets are globe-shaped space objects that orbit a star. Planets begin life at the same time as their star, from the leftover clouds of gas and dusts. Some planets, called terrestrial planets, have a surface of solid rock. Others, called gas planets, have a surface of liquid or any gas. The solar system has nine planets, including Pluto. But Pluto may be an escaped moon or an asteroid, not a planet. Giant planets now have been detected orbiting stars other than the Sun. These are called extrasolar planets. Mercury is the fastest orbiting of all the planets, getting around the Sun in just 88 days. Temperatures on Mercury veer from negative 292 fit degrees Fahrenheit at night to over 806 degrees Fahrenheit during the day. Venus is the second planet out from the Sun. Venus is the hottest planet in the solar system with a surface temperature of over 878 degrees Fahrenheit. And Venus shines like a star in the night sky because its thick atmosphere reflects sunlight amazingly well. And here we have the Earth, the only planet that we can actually live on due to the combination of carbon dioxide and oxygen and other gases we actually can breathe on Earth. What a fantastic little planet we have. Mars is the nearest planet to Earth after Venus and is the only planet to have either an atmosphere or a daytime temperature close to ours. Mars is called the red planet because of its rusty red color. Mars is 4,217 miles in diameter. Jupiter is the biggest planet in the solar system, twice as heavy as all the other planets put together. Jupiter has no surface for a spacecraft to land on because it is mostly made from helium gas and hydrogen. Jupiter has a great red spot, a huge swirl of red clouds measuring more than 25,000 miles across. Saturn is the second biggest planet in the solar system. Saturn takes 29 and a half years to travel around the Sun, so Saturn's year is 29.46 Earth years. Saturn is named after Saturnus, the ancient Roman god of seed time and harvest. Saturn is not a solid, but is made up almost entirely of gas. Uranus is the seventh planet out from the Sun. In summer on Uranus, the Sun does not set for 20 years. And Uranus has 21 moons, all named after characters in William Shakespeare's plays. Neptune has eight moons, each named after characters from ancient Greek myths. Neptune has the strongest winds in the solar system, blowing up to 2,300 feet per second. Triton, Neptune's moon, is the only moon to orbit backwards. Pluto was the last of all the planets to be discovered, and it was only found because it has a slight effect on the orbits of Neptune and Uranus. Unlike the other outer planets, Pluto is made from rock, but the rock is covered in ice, water, and a thin layer of frozen methane, which is a gas. Congratulations, everybody, for returning safely home from your trip. Ted and I welcome you back and can't wait to see you with us next time.